Okay, welcome back to the Frenzy for our next stop. We head north for a Class 2A Knox sectional semifinal showdown. Delphi facing off with Winnemac. There's something about February 3rd, am I right, Erica? Yeah, there is. On this day last year, the Warriors topping the Oracles in the sectional semifinals. Winnemac looking to repeat history, but the Oracles looking for some payback. That's right. A lot of energy to start this one as the veteran Oracles taking the court. And they get right to it. Riley Lane rocketing over to Catherine Lane, who drops it in from three-point land. On the inbound play, Bailey Gosser passing it to Emily Jakes, who dumps it back down to Gosser, and she scores a whole tribe off Warriors. Delphi taking an early 7-0 lead, but Winnemac coming back. Alyssa Wagner with the catch and shoot and score from the post. She had a big night. And then Gosser also having a big night as she catches it in the corner and connects on the mid-range jumper. Oracle still up at this point. Winnemac landing the next punch as the ball gets worked down to Jillian Brum and Brum cleaning things up with a nice layup. Winnemac going on a roll though as another interior pass to Wagner leads to another basket. Tying it up for Winnemac, but Delphi not going anywhere. Kayla Fogarasi getting the takeaway and going coast to coast for the Delphi bucket. And that would be the story in this one. Delphi getting their revenge and moving on to the sectional title game, winning 44 to 33. Let's head down to Clinton Prairie for sectional 54. First, we have Clinton Prairie taking on rival Clinton Central. First quarter, Micah Ruiz nails this three and Prairie jumps on top in a hurry. Later, it's Kenzie Martin with a three of her own from the corner. Gophers on the break. Tatum Neal drives and lays it in on this one. But right after that, it's Neal again and she gets the rebound and puts it back into the bucket. Gophers on fire tonight from three. Katie Blackner splashes this one in, but later on, Reese drives and lays it in. The Bulldogs finally getting on the board late in the second quarter. Cassidy Jenkins, but the Gophers were too tough tonight. They win 49 to 16. The Gophers meeting the winner of Tri Central and Faith Christian. Trojans up 30 to 4 at halftime. More of the same in the second half. Kinsey Leininger driving the baseline for the lay, and then TC's Taylor Davis getting the feed down low. She banks it in. Later, it's Davis driving for the layup. More Trojans. Emily Richard this time hitting the three. And then it's Davis also hitting from outside the arc. Well, the Eagles, I mean, they had no chance in this one. They finally connect on a bucket themselves. Maddie Schultz knocking down this long two, but all try central. As the third quarter ends, Paige Bennett nailing this buzzer beater. Trojans win 57 to 13 and move on to face Clinton Prairie. Now, first three plays of this game, Twin Lakes shots are off, and Rensselaer will go on the fast break to Marika Lynch Pastor, who fakes out the defender and puts the Bombers on the board. The Indians look to tie it up uh, on the inbound pass. They do a few quick uh, passes, feed it to Caitlin Turpik, and who makes it look so easy, tying the game. Twin Lakes now taking advantage of a fast break off their own Maggie Gutwein, pushing it down the court, and she'll pass off to Josie Gutwein, who lands the quick layup. A few drives later, the Bombers are down by two. A quick pass to the wide open, Haley Warren. She'll sink it and pull the Bombers ahead, defeating the Indians 60-49. to that does it for the highlight portion of the frenzy. Coming up, Benton Central head coach David Baxter will join us in the coach's corner. The Bison are moving on to the sectional final. We'll break down BC semifinal win over West Lafayette when we return.